So we got this anti this anti roll bar here. Now I know we touched on it at the table, but I want to know about the bushing. It's oil light bronze. It's a self lubricating bronze bushing. It's harder than aluminum, but yet it's soft enough to work as a bushing. Correct. We've been building and using these bushings for ten years and haven't had one bushing failure. Really? Not one bushing failure in ten years. So this is pretty much a no brainer slapping this baby in. Pretty much simple welding. Toughest thing you got to do as well. Yep. We got someone for that, right? We got Willie the welder. We got Gas Card Willie? Yep. Gas Card Willie's with us? Willie's with us. No way! <laughs> All right. All right, we're going to get hot on this thing. Okay, you just want to clean any paint, rust, and scale off there uh, so that when we go to weld in the end plate, we get a nice clean weld. It's a little bit trickier when you got a spare tire weld car, but you just give it a little push. The oh. suspension will move, it's out of your way. Fit it up over there. Dude, that slid right in. That's how we build our stuff. That's how we roll, Lou. <laughs> that was actually easier than I thought, yeah, man. I thought it was going to be it's difficult. It's really easy. Um, and then, you know, we just check a couple measurements. There's a bulkhead up here for your upper torque box. Right. You want to measure it to make sure it's square. You know, you measure side to side. Right. Here, I'll move over here. Side to side to the center of the bar. Right. It's a little bit off. Um, so we go we go from the bulkhead to the center of the bar. Yeah. Okay. And it's a little bit off on that side, so you just wiggle it and replace it. Try to take a slight eyeball on it. And then double check. Okay, so you've got everything tacked in place. Right. We Give always, me the lowdown. We always tack it in first and then double check our measurements. We look at it, make sure nothing's bound or straight. We always want to actuate the bar, make sure it moves you know, before, it. before we weld it in. Because you know, if you get it a little bit crooked and you start welding it, it could bind up on the area. Got you. So you always want to make sure it's, everything's in straight. And then you just check your measurements again from the bulkhead. We got one and three quarters still. And one and three quarters. It's so good she's to go. ready to burn in. Yep. Willie's gonna make his paycheck today. Yes, he is. Cool. Let's go. Okay, so Dave, I noticed uh, gas card Willie over there. He didn't weld the the side and the top. What's the reason for that? I mean, there's got to be a reason. Well. If you pay a lot of money for a part, you go to sell the car and you want to take it out, um, it's a whole lot easier. It's more than strong being welded where it is. It's easier if you don't have to cut the weld off the backside. You can get in there with a small cutoff wheel, Okay. cut the welds on the front and the bottom, get it out if the bar ever has to be serviced or anything. I know bushing's never gone bad, but if it does go bad right. and you need one replaced, it's easy to take it out. Really? Yep. I would. I would have honestly thought to weld it all the way around. I'm not gonna lie. I to mean, you, about it. you can weld it all yeah. the way around. If you if you plan on never selling your car, or never changing anything, yeah, it's not a problem. Weld it all the way around. Feel free. Burn that baby in. Yep. That's real. I didn't. I would have never thought of that. Okay. So what's our next step then? Our next step is to clean a little bit more of the paint off of here. Okay. And add the downlinks and weld them to the back of the housing. Got you. Where's your Is there a specific angle that you want the tab at? Uh, yeah, actually we want this to be angled down at about 30, 40 degrees. Okay. And we want the tab at, you know, depending on which side of the car you're facing at three or nine o'clock, you know, straight off the back of the house. Right. And, and then it's that simple. Yep. It's real simple.
centered and squared. We made sure that the rear end was centered and square in the car before okay. we weld these on because if it was shifted off to one side, right. then our down links would be crooked. Okay. So we make sure the rear end is centered and squared, weld the anti-roll bar in, and then weld the tabs on. Now to set up the anti-roll bar for the customer, um, if they brought it in to have us install it, we'd, we'd do what we just did here, weld it in. And then when the customer came to pick it up, I'd set up his anti-roll bar. I'd make sure his pinion angle is set like it needs to be. And then we'd set up the anti-roll bar with, make sure the car's at race weight, okay. or how it is gonna be when he races it. And then put him in the driver's seat because you know the weight in the driver's seat makes will, a difference, yeah. will affect the preload. And then normally what we do, it's fairly simple. You know, we, we make sure the links are neutral just by spinning them. You know, if you can spin a link like that and hear the hinds clattering, it's right. neutral. So what we would do is tighten up the the jam nuts on the driver's side. I see where that uh, X dot comes in handy now. Yes. This one's a little bit off. It's a little bit bigger than the 9 16 but you lock the, the jam nuts down on that. Now, you take the passenger side and you, you, can, you can actually feel you want to lengthen the passenger down link until you, you feel resistance between your finger and thumb. It's taken all the slop out of it. And then you just give it one quarter turn, which is two flats. And that adds about 15 pounds of preload to the right rear. No way. And then lock down the jam nuts. And then it's set. It's set. And, you know, nine times out of ten, that car will go straight down the track. That's pretty cool, man. Straightforward and simple. That is, man. That's, that, I mean, that was a uh, kiss. Keep it simple, stupid. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That simplicity at its finest there. And Willie actually did a nice job welding it. Yeah, he's not too bad, is he? I'm impressed with him. Even if he is funny looking. Yeah. So this baby's ready to rock. So what's the next thing we're doing on we're this gonna, We're going to change out these antique lowers. Um, Whose antique lowers are those, Dave? It's a competitor. We can't, don't, don't, don't really want to say it. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're dated February of 1999. They've been Whoa. on this car since 1999. They've been on there a while. Yeah. Um, we're going to swap those out and give it a set of Team Z lowers. Well, let's do that, man. All right.